G'day folks, it's Mish here. We're gonna do a spot of beach metal detecting today. I've got the Nocta legend with me. I've got some gorgeous views behind me. Couldn't ask for more than that. So without any further ado, let's grab the gear and let's go hunting. Alright, first sand target of the day. Now I got a little squashed 22 caliber bullet in the rock crevices where I started out. But I am mostly doing the sand today. And I've got a bit of a sketchy 20 signal. So a few grunts there. I might be able to disregard them. That may be ground chatter. It still doesn't sound too great. Can you see it? Because I can't. Unless it's that little thing in the middle. What is that? Nope, definitely not that. Could be that, however. Teeny tiny sinker. Hello, sinker squad. <laughs> you guys are on the board. It's a bit of an unusual looking one. It's more like a jewellery bead, but nope, definitely a sinker. All right, let's keep going. Alrighty guys, this signal almost knocked my socks off. It was super loud in my headset. I'm sure you're going to hear a whisper of it. Just where I've made this little imprint with my coil here. Have a better listen. 42, 43, really loud, potentially larger than a coin. It kind of feels like it's going like this, but I mean, it might be multiple coins if we're lucky. It's ringing up around that goldy range. And being that it's not too deep, I'm expecting it's a semi-fresh drop, not a relic. Oh, we definitely got something right here. Oh, I have a few things going on, but anyway, I see something here. What is that? That, <laughs> we, we could say we've found a ring. Not in the jewellery sense, I don't think. Okay, maybe. I don't know. Like a brass ring and it's got sort of a, a nylon coated wire attached to it. No wonder it gave a thumping signal. Anything ring shaped will always give you a massive signal. Let's put that in the pocket and let's just scan, make sure that was it. Oh, there's something else. So there was actually multiple signals. This one's a 42. Could be the other end of whatever I just dug up or, you know, maybe we'll get a coin for our cleanup efforts. Equally thumping signal. Oh, well, there it is. No, we did get a coin for our efforts. There you go. See, it literally pays to clean up the beach, folks. Got a dollar on the board. It has been there a little while. The corrosion's starting to take hold on that one. We will take it. I'll make sure there's no other signals in there, but I think we got them all. I think we might be on a run of little signals today, guys. Here's another one. 16. Give it a try. It seems to be teeny tiny. Already out. Definitely going to pinpoint this one though. <laughs> Alright, what is it? What is it? Oh, is it a little... Oh, I was hoping that was a little pennant. It is just a teeny tiny bit of cancel. That's a bit disappointing. Kind of looks like a pennant. <laughs> Can we pretend it's that? Anyway, moving on. Well, crew, let's see if this target is our redemption or more disappointment. <laughs> have a guess. Let's have a listen. Twenty-nine, thirty. We're not too far from that cancelor, though. In the clump. Oh, 
I see something purple there. Maybe it's jewelry, or maybe that's a shell, and oh, whatever it is, it's in the scoop. What was that thing? What was that? It's falling apart, but uh, I don't know. It's a purple ring of some sort, and this is a clear plastic. Uh, you know what, it almost looks like an, an iPhone covers camera lens cap or something. It's about the size of the cameras on the back of the newer iPhones. So I do wonder if that was part of a case and they've smashed the case and this bit's fallen off. Anyway, got the heart racing for a second at least. <laughs> On to the next. Why oh why is it always the targets you don't start filming that prove the most interesting? I could be onto something amazing here guys. So I'm a little ways from the water, not too far. I got a signal here, it was a scratchy mid-twenties signal. Now there's something interesting about this, it was a scratchy mid-twenties signal in the multi-wet mode. So I thought I'd try the multi-dry mode and it couldn't pick it up all that well. There is a bit of moisture in the sand here. Um, the salinity is pretty high here too. So that was interesting. The target's out. Have a listen. 26, 27. Now you're probably looking at that right now going, Mish, you really need to get in there. I think I need to get in there too. That's an interesting color. Oh, actually it's shaped a little bit differently than what I thought. I saw this rim here and I thought it was just maybe a gold ring. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's something... I have no idea what this is. Please don't just be a bottle cap. I actually have no idea what this is. My heart had stopped because that was the right range for a finer gold ring. And... From what I can tell, this is brass, not gold. Almost a relic of some sort. I suppose it had a bit of depth to it. Maybe six inch in the sand there. Interesting. I have absolutely no idea what to make of that. If you do, let me know. It's not a perfect circle, I don't think. Hmm. A very strange piece. All right, <laughs> that's the highlight of the hunt so far, so let's keep going. Well, this beach has certainly given me some weird targets. Pretty close to the shore at this point. And this one again was a bit of a scratchy signal, but I think it may have been on its side. Now a 17, 18, 19, and then yet another one that had me thinking I was on a gold ring. Have a look at that edge. <laughs> but no. Afraid not. This one's another relic. This one is the base of a shotgun shell. An Ely Kynock. So that'll be getting up there. That'll probably be, you know, 80 or more year old. Cool. All right. Yet another thing that looks gold is ring shaped, <laughs> but is not a gold ring. Well, let's keep going. Well, crew, this beach is uh, not really the gift that keeps on giving in terms of targets. It's rather quiet today, so we might try another spot to, just for the tail end of our adventure. But we will take in the sights while we're here. I did promise you that. So we've got beautiful clear water today. And not showing you too much, because again, playing close to home. But gosh, just even seeing what you can see now. Gee, I wish I was diving today. <laughs> Except the water is freezing cold. <laughs> and there's a bit of swell out there, which unfortunately means I probably wouldn't be able to use my Nemo or Nomad today. I might get tumbled. But also, as those big crests come up, the water would be pulling underneath. So, not the safest conditions for a dive. Still mighty nice to look at, though. All right, let's try our luck at one more spot and we might call it a day.
that I'm on my second and final location so this is a lot more fluffy dry sand at this particular spot I figured I'd pick this one because I'm guaranteed to get a couple of targets whether they're good or not well that remains to be seen but we'll certainly flesh out the video won't we folks all right we're on to our first one 27 is where this one wants to sit Might have just missed it off the side there. Hopefully in the scoop. There it is. It would be good batter otherwise. Oop, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> um, very much expected on this beach, but that's okay. That'll be the last one I'll show you. We'll see what else we get. And I should have just kept the camera rolling because we literally just finished here. We took one swing and we hit another target. This one sounds a lot nicer to be fair. Oh, does it though? Maybe it doesn't. I thought I was on a goldie, but you know what? I'm getting the signal up here. I think someone's gone and left a can. Probably the one that had that pull tab attached. We're going to take it off the beach if we can get to it. Yeah, I'm pretty well convinced this is a can because my eardrums are hurting with this one. Yep, there it is. Ugh. People, we can be better than this. If you're going to drink better beer, then uh, be a better person. Ugh. All right. <laughs> well, as with at our first beach, when we picked up some trash and then we got a coin straight after, perhaps this is going to be the same effect. So the last target I got was that awful beer can. And now I've got another punchy signal, but it's small. And it's a 41. So I'm thinking, if I'm lucky, this may be a $2 coin. Hmm. 45 now, okay, maybe not. Fancy $2 coin at that. Okay. I'm not sure why it rang a bit higher all of a sudden, but that is a Commonwealth Games $2 coin with a beautiful colourful ring on it. I'd say this one's a relatively fresh drop. She's super shiny and hasn't lost any of that colour band. 2018 coin, that one. Well, we'll add that to the collection. Almost at coffee money. Just one more goldie for coffee money would be nice, and I thought I was onto it. <laughs> Not quite. Another sinker for the collection. There'll be a coin or two here, I know it. We'll get them. Well, no luck on that last bit of coffee money, guys. So I am packing up at the moment. I want to show you this cool bit of gear that I've been using for the last month or so. So I bought this portable beach shower from an Australian business called Beach Soul. It's just a small business. The product's designed for rinsing yourself off after a day at the beach or maybe you're out camping. I'm actually personally using it for rinsing off detecting gear at the end of the hunt and it has been a game changer. I'm no longer bringing sand home at the end of the day, I'm getting it off my feet as well. Uh, this is a small unit so this stores 5 litres of water, there is an 8 litre version. For more info head to dirtfishmish.com gear, you'll find it in the miscellaneous gear section. Well friends, I think it's fairly safe to say that the beach has beaten us on this day. There weren't too many targets about didn't quite get to that magical coffee money. I've had a lovely day out in the sunshine though. It's typically pretty cold this time of year, so this was an unusually warm day, but we're gonna see less and less items on the beach in the months to come. We really do need to wait for those significant winter weather events, so the big storms carving out massive chunks of sand off the beach, that's what we're gonna be looking for. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this brief little adventure. If you did, don't forget that like button. In the meantime, guys, take care. Stay safe and I'll catch you on my next adventure. Cheers.